ったけどでもイエス様はまだあの生きておられますね。そう、イエス様は死んでしまう。イエス様は死んでしまう。
I would like to bring a greeting from New Hope Brisbane Church. New Hope Brisbane からの挨拶したいと思います。They are all praying for this today. そして皆さん本当に今日のためにお祈りしてくださっています。And we would like to welcome you to visit us in Australia. So, so, uh, this is my fourth trip to Japan. And I have felt God speak to me about Japan. That He is building a bridge between Australia and Japan. And we will send many people to Japan. And many people from Japan will come to Australia. So you are personally invited. Has anybody been to Australia? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. You want to? Yeah, we'll come. Come visit. Come visit us. My mum. Taught Japanese at my school when I was a little boy. So, can I practice some more words? <laughs> 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 Sayonara. Sushi. Samurai. Toyota, Mitsubishi, Sumo. I love Japan. I'm trying to learn many more words than those. If you would like to open your Bibles and turn to Jeremiah 29:11 to 14. Jeremiah の29章11節から14節まで。And before we, before we start the sermon today, I would like to pray. Let's bow our heads. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your presence here today. I feel your Holy Spirit moving through this place. And I feel the joy of the Lord in this house. Jesus, this is your church. And you promised you would build your church. And the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And we ask you, Lord Jesus, come and bless this service. Come, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Whenever I preach a sermon at New Hope in Australia, I encourage everyone to take notes. So please write things down. And study these words during the week. And if you have any questions about my sermon, just ask Pastor James any time. <laughs> Jeremiah 29:11. This is one of my life verses. I'll read all, and then you read all. Okay. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord. I will それは災いではなくて平安を与える計画でありあなた方に将来と希望を与えるためのものだあなた方が私を呼び求めて歩き私に祈るなら私あなたがあなた方に聞こうもしあなた方が心を尽くし私を探し求めるなら私を見つけるだろう私はあなた方に見つけられる私はあなた方の繁栄を元通りにし私があなた方を追い散らした先のすべての国々とすべての場所からあなた方を集める Point number one. Ask God 
What is his plan for you? God has a plan for every person's life. And we need to ask him. God wants to prosper us and not to harm us. To give us a new hope and a future. A lot of people finish at verse 11. But verse 12 is very important. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me. And I will listen to you. Do you know that God listens to us? We just need to pray. We need to ask Him, what is your plan for my life? And verse 13, you will seek me, and you will find me when you seek me with a little bit of your heart. Well, that's wrong. It's not a little bit of your heart. It's all of your heart. God is looking for people. God is looking for people who seek Him with all of our heart. And he promises, I will be found by you, declares the Lord. When I was a young boy, I went to church as a child. And I knew about God. But I didn't know God in my heart. And when I was 15, I heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. That God loved me. That Jesus died on the cross for me. And I was born again. And then I knew God in my heart. And I started asking God. What is your plan for my life? Every day we should pray. And ask God, show me your plan. And I have found that he has led me. Through all of my life. By his Holy Spirit. Where I live in Australia, we have lots of beautiful beaches. And lots of people go sailing on boats. And they keep their boats in a harbour. And they put the anchor down into the ocean. And they tie the boat to the harbour. So the boat is safe and secure. When they go sailing, they take up the anchor, they untie the rope, they set the sails high, so the wind can come and lead the boat out of the harbour. And then they sail on the beautiful ocean in Australia. But they need to set the sails to lift out the anchor. To lift up the anchor and untie the rope. Many Christians 
are stuck in the harbor. あの港に本当にとどまったままの船のようです。With the anchor. そのいかりが降りたの。And the rope. そしてロープがあのほどいてない状態で。And their sails are down. そしてその船のマスが開いてない状態で。And God doesn't God, God doesn't lead us when we're stuck in the harbor. 私たちが本当にそのような状態にいる神様は導くことはできません。It's called faith. あの信仰が必要なんです。When we sail out of the harbor. あの本当に港からあの大船場に出るときに本当信仰によって出ていく必要があります。Like、coming to Japan for me. あの私が日本に来る,とき来ることは本当に。It's like going out of the harbor. <笑>もう本当になんか大船場の外海に出ていくような感じです。なんか And I set my sails. そして自分の,その,あの、えー、船の旗を出して、マスカマスを出して。And I pray for God's Holy Spirit to lead me. そして神様の聖霊様が導いてくれるようにお祈りします。Do you have your sails set today? 皆さんあの、自分のマスを張っていますか Are you ready for God's Holy Spirit to lead you? 神様の聖霊に導かれる準備ができていますか you must seek God with all of your heart. 本当に自分の心を尽くして神様を探し求める必要があります。One of the world's most popular books. あの世界で一つすごく有名な本があるんですけど、人気のある。Is called The Purpose Driven Life. えー、と目,的なと目的によって生きていく人生というあの本があるんですよね。Written by Pastor Rick Warren. リック・ウォレンが書いたんですけど。He says there will be two things that will be asked when we die. であの死んだ時に2つの質問を聞かれるって書いてあります。Number one, 1つ目の質問は、What did you do with Jesus? イエス様と何をしたかっていう。And number two, What did you do with what I gave you? 2つ目の質問は私が与えたものをどうしたかっていう。We will be saved by the grace of Jesus, 私たちは神様の恵みによって救われる。But then we'll、be rewarded そして表彰されるんです。For the good works we have done on this earth. 自分たちがこの地球上でやってきたすべての良い行いについて褒められるんです。Are you following God's plan for your life? 神様が自分の人生のために立てた計画を従っていますか Or are you living for yourself? それとも自分のために生きていますか We must put God first. まず神様を第一に求める必要があります。And seek him with all of our hearts. そして私たちの心を尽くして求める必要があります。Point number two. 2番目のポイントです。Stand on the word of God. 何が起きても神様の言葉に踏みとどまろう。No、matter what gets thrown at you. 何が起きても神様の言葉に踏みとどまりましょう。We are in a battle. 私たち今戦いの中にあります。From the moment you wake up every day, 起きた時から、There's a battle between the flesh and the spirit. 肉と霊との間で戦いがあるんです。A battle between angels and demons. 天使と悪魔の間で戦いがあるんです。And we need to stand on God's word. そして神様の言葉に踏みとどまる必要があるんです。For 10 years, I have been a New Hope pastor. For 10年間、ニューホープの牧師をやっているんですけど、And I've been doing daily devotions. そしてリボーションを本当毎日やっているんですが、The best decision I've made as a Christian. あの本当にその中で一番もいいあの決断をしたのがクリスチャンになったことです。Is to feed myself with God's word. 神様の,その言葉の中で、神様の言葉であの満ち溢れることを決断したことが良い決断でした。本当に It's great to be fed by a pastor. あのもちろん牧師さんによっていろいろあのあの習うのはいいんですけど。But you can't survive on one meal a week. だけど。もちろん一つの,その食事で一週間あの生き延びていくことはできません。You need to be self-feeding every day. 毎日毎日何かをあの食べていかないと生きていけないですよね。I have an 18-year-old daughter. 私は18歳の娘がいます。If she came to me at night time, もしも彼女が夜に私のところに来て、and said, Dad, I'm hungry. お父さん、お腹空きました。<笑> Can you feed me some dinner? なんか晩ご飯ちょうだいって言われたときに。<笑> I would think she's crazy. 私は彼,彼女がちょっとおかしいんじゃないかと思います。And I would say, feed yourself. 自分で何か食べてきこいよって言います。You're not a baby anymore. 赤ちゃんじゃないんだから。<笑> The same way as Christians, もうクリスチャンも同じように、We need to feed ourselves on God's word. 私たちも神様の言葉を自分たちには、えー、神様のことを求めていく必要があります。So we can fight against the enemy. そして、えーあの戦いに勝つことができるように。エフェジオン6、verses 
to 20. I'll read the first bit. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armour of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, the authorities, the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armour of God so that when the day of evil comes, you'll be able to stand your ground. And after you've done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth around your waist, the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. <coughs> 神の具を取りなさい。can I ask Pastor James to come up? Can we act something out together? <laughs> Is he a good actor? Now imagine. <laughs> Imagine he's very mad at me. <laughs> and he wants to punch he wants to punch me out. <laughs> if I am on the back foot <laughs> and he punches me, <laughs> he'll knock me over very easy. <laughs> if I am standing neutral, <laughs> And he wants to punch me over. I'll fall very easily. But if I'm on the front foot and I'm ready, he wouldn't have a chance, would he? <laughs> because I am ready. Now, we, we, we have attacks. We have attacks all the time. And when we're dressed in the armor of God, we are ready for any enemy. But too many Christians are like this. And they'll fall over. Or they're backsliding. And they'll, and they'll fall over very easy. We need to be on the front foot. And if we're dressed in the armour of God, helmet, belt, shield, sword, feet, there's nothing, there's nothing protecting our back. So we need to fight together. So no one stabs each other in the back. We protect our brothers and sisters. I, I fight everyone in this area. He fights everyone in that area. We need each other. We need to be in unity together. And we need to know who we're fighting. And we can beat the devil. 
悪魔をやっつけることができます。Dressed in the armor of God. 神様の、えー、服を。Look at these muscles. この筋肉を見てください。<笑> We can win. Amen. 私たち勝つことができるんです。Thank you. Thank you. ありがとうございます。He's a good warrior. <laughs> All of the weapon, that's a, the only attacking weapon in the armor of God is the sword. All the others are defensive. But the sword is. Offensive. Fight the devil. Now, my son is 10 years old and he thinks he's a ninja. <laughs> a samurai. <laughs> he has a sword. And we have sword fights together. <laughs> and I win all the time. <laughs> But I am 41. <laughs> And I'm very big. He is 10. <laughs> But he's getting bigger. <laughs> One day, he will be as big as me. And will probably beat me. <laughs> Because he is growing up with his. He's getting better with his sword. Too many Christians are still like a 10 year old with the sword. And they won't beat the devil. If you want to beat the devil, grow up. Learn the word of God. Quote the Bible verses. Pray with authority. And thank God for victory. And you can beat the devil. Verse 18 says this. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. すべての祈りと願いを用いてどんな時にも御霊によって祈りなさいそのためには絶えず目を覚ましていてすべての生徒のために忍耐の限りを尽くしまた祈りなさいそしてパウロはあの祈,りに祈りを求めています He says in verse 19, 19節では Pray also for me that whenever I speak words may be given to me So that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I might declare it fearlessly as I should. 29章と20節でまた、私は口を開くとき、語るべき言葉が与えられ、福音の奥義を大胆に知らせることができるように私のためにも祈ってください。私は鎖につながれて、福音のために大使の役を果たしています。鎖につながれていても語るべきことを大胆に語れるように祈ってくださいと書いてあります。So pray for all the Lord's people. And pray for your pastor. The pastor is on the front line of the battle. Don't waste your weapons on your pastor. Use your weapons for the devil. Bless your pastor and pray for him. <laughs> and defeat the devil. Ephesians 6 10-20 should be a prayer that we pray every day. When you wake up in the morning, do your devotions. And then put on the armor of God. And report for duty. Report for duty. Report for service. And then go and do what God has called you to do every day. Even when times are tough, dress yourself in God's armor. 
and sharpen the sword. ですので剣を研いで。If I had a blunt sword, もしもあの全く研いでない刀があったら、and I tried to cut Pastor James, <笑>そしてジェームさんを切ろうとしたとき、<笑> it would wouldn't cut him. 多分切れないんでしょうね、多分。But if I sharpened my sword, もしもその自分の刀を研いでいったら。<笑> I could slice it off his leg. <laughs> Too many Christians have a blunt sword. So sharpen the sword of the Spirit. And I wouldn't want to cut your leg off, it's okay. <laughs> Bless our pastors. <laughs> Point number three. Just keep turning up. Too many Christians don't show any commitment. Too many Christians don't go to church every Sunday anymore. They don't read their Bibles anymore. They don't evangelize anymore. And we give up too easily. We must keep turning up. Every part of the body needs each other. If one of you is missing, we won't be as strong. Every person matters. Have you heard of Hillsong Church? And Hillsong music. They are from Australia. <laughs> And their music is sung all over the world. Pastor Brian Houston from Hillsong was interviewed. And they asked, What is the secret to your success? And he said, Ready? Just keep turning up.、Yeah. God is looking for people who are faithful. Who just keep turning up. My final Bible verse is from James 1:2-8. Consider it a sheer gift, friends, when tests and challenges come at you from all sides. You know that under pressure, your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true colors. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Let it do its work so you become mature and well developed, not deficient in any way. If you don't know what you're doing, pray to the Father. He loves to help. You'll get His help and won't be condescended to when you ask for it. Ask boldly, believingly, without a second thought. People who worry their prayers are like wind whipped waves. Don't think you're going to get anything from the Master that way, adrift at sea, keeping all your options open. えー、これちょっとメッセージっていうちょっと訳しなちょっとあの日本語にはないと訳なんでちょっと、えー、ちょっと自分なりに訳してみたんですけどでいろんな方向から試練や挑戦に直面したときにそれを他でもない贈り物だと思いなさいプレッシャーの中で信仰生活が現れなりその本当の色が現れますですから何においても早々逃げ出そうとしないでください何一つ欠けたところのないように自分がもっと懸命にそして成長できるように向かいましょう。自分が何をしているのか分からないときは天のお父さんに祈りましょう。神様は喜んで助けてくれます。神様はわざと親切物体せず助けてくれます。信じて大胆に余計なことを考えずにお願いしましょう。祈っていることを心配している人は風に吹かれて揺れ動く波のようです。このように祈ったら力なりも与えられません。なので、えー、海で漂流しているような船のようになるので、すべての選択肢を検討してください。えー、はい、以上です。<笑> So just keep turning up. Pray to the Father. And when you pray, ask boldly and believingly. 
本当大胆に祈ってそして、えー、信じて祈りましょう。Have faith in a good father. 素晴らしいお父さん、天のお父さんに、えー、信仰を持ってお祈りしましょう。I was talking to my children on Skype today. 私はちょっとあの自分たちの子供スカイプでちょっと話してたんですけど。They asked me what presents I'm going to give them. <laughs> And they know I'm a good father. I'm going to give them good presents. But they still ask me. I won't go back and give my son a snake. Or give him some dirt. <laughs> I will bless him with some good Lego. <laughs> some good toys. <laughs> I will give him lots of cuddles and kisses because I've missed him. <laughs> and I'll get lots of girly things for the girls. <laughs> because I love them. It's my joy to bless them. And even though they keep asking me, I'm still going to give them something. The same thing happens when we pray to our Heavenly Father. He loves to bless us. He wants to give us good gifts. たくさんの賜物を与えたいと思っているんです。So、ask him だから求めてください。For his spiritual gifts. 神様が与えられる霊的な賜物を求めてください。Ask him for blessings. たくさんの祝福を求めてください。He will bless you indeed. 神様はあなた方を本当に祝福します。So, in, to summarize today, This is your homework for this week. <laughs> Ask God what is His plan for you. Stand on God's word no matter what happens. And just keep turning up. I will finish with one of my favorite stories. There was once a young man who was an atheist. He was training to be an Olympic diver. The only religious influence in his life came from an outspoken Christian friend. The young diver never really paid much attention to any of his friends' sermons. But he heard them often. One night, the diver went to an indoor pool at the college where he attended. The lights were all off. But as the pool had skylights, and the moon was bright, there was plenty of light to practice by. The young man climbed up the highest diving board, and he turned his back to the pool, and he, and he extended his arms out. You've got to put your arms out. <laughs> <laughs> he put his arms out and he saw his shadow on the wall. The shadow formed the shape of the cross. Instead of diving, he knelt down and asked God to come into his life. しし
He came to God at just the right time. If he had turned away from God, splat. At just the right time, he gave his heart to God. I want to challenge you today. Is your heart right with God? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and is risen from the dead, then you'll be saved. This is the good news. We need to tell Osaka the good news. We need to tell Japan the good news. We need to tell the whole world the good news. This is our job. Not just Pastor James. Not just the worship team. We do church as a team. All of us need to tell the world the good news. And we do it through the power of the Holy Spirit. I would love to pray for you right now. Let's all bow our heads and pray. Dear God in heaven, I thank you for every person here today. And I pray if there's anyone that needs to give their heart to Jesus, that your Holy Spirit will touch them today. If there's anyone that's backslidden and fallen away from God, I pray they will come back to you today. With every eye closed and every head bowed, if you would like to give your heart to Jesus today, please put your hand up high. And I can pray with you today. I see four hands so far. Is there anybody else that wants to come to Jesus today? Let's all pray this prayer out loud. Dear God in heaven, thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for me. Please forgive me of my sins. I turn from my wicked ways. And I surrender my life to you. Please fill me with your Holy Spirit and make me born again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give these people a one more story before I finish today. My wife and I have been visiting a refugee center. And we met a man from Iran who was a Muslim. And he was in a wheelchair with a very sore knee. And I asked him if I could pray for him. And 
And I put my hand on his knee. And I just said, be healed in Jesus' name. And he went, oh! <laughs> it's hot! <laughs> and his knee was healed. And I said, it's the power of Jesus. And we gave him a Bible in his local language. And I told him to read it every day. In one week's time, I went to visit him again. And I, and I asked him, How is your Bible reading? And he said, Jesus is appearing to him in his dreams every night. He's dressed in white. With a beard. And he says to him, I will show you the way. I will show you the truth. It's so easy to tell people about Jesus. <laughs> when he heals them, and he visits them, and I'm just the man in the middle, we all have to be available. To pray for people. To do what the disciples did. All through the book of Acts. Be ready for Jesus to use you. So I would like to pray for you today. If you need to be healed from any sickness, or if you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, my wife and I would love to pray for you today. I'll hand back to Pastor James. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, as Pastor uh, Matt said, we need to make ourselves available. And we have an opportunity right now to help those in uh, the Kumamoto area. Uh, so we're going to be taking up an offering. And so uh, we can... Uh, be a blessing there. And then after we're finished with that, then we'll open up the time where uh, Pastor Matt and, and Carol can uh, minister to those that want a prayer. So let's uh, first pray and then we'll be taking up the Father, we can literally every day count our blessings. We thank you for the many blessings that you have given to us. We thank you for this word today. Help us just to be faithful to you. And as we uh, take up this offering, May you use the offering uh, for blessing other people. Yes, and may it be all for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen.